In this video, we will introduce the graphical user interface programming in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. <coughs> MATLAB provides a powerful tool to develop an interactive uh, software using a graphical user interface application. And uh, particularly in MATLAB, it is very easy to use and develop such software. So for starting uh, uh, editor window for editing GUI, we need to type GUIDE guide in the command window of the MATLAB. Uh, then a new window pops up, uh, which uh, asks for whether you want to open an uh, existing uh, GUI or you want to create a uh, exactly a new one. So we'll uh, uh, select a blank GUI and then OK. So a new window will be open. So this is generally known as the GUI editor in which you can design the front panel of your GUI. And then we will uh, came to know how to do the back end programming of it. So first of all, we need to uh, save uh, this particular GUI. So we will save this GUI at desktop and then uh, by the name of test and then save. As soon as we will save, uh, a new editor window pops up by the name of test.m. So effectively two files are created. That is test.m and test.fig. Test.fig uh, file is uh, for this figure window, which is uh, uh, contains the information of the front panel, how many buttons and uh, how many uh, graphs are there or in other sense the uh, display uh, this uh, figure com uh, figure file is just for the uh, acts as a uh, for display purpose of the software now this test.m is the file where we write our code to uh, to make sure that our GUI is acting in a, a specific manner so in this uh, GUI they are as soon as you started there are several functions. Uh, this uh, test.vergin is the function which uh, uh, initialize uh, the complete layout of the GUI. And then this is the opening function of the GUI. This opening function, as its name suggests, is run. This opening function runs whenever we uh, run the GUI. As soon as we run the GUI, first this opening function runs or executes and when we close the uh, GUI then this output function executes so for testing it uh, whatever we want to uh, write about the GUI or to make sure that it should uh, work in a specific manner as soon as it is starts we have to write all those code uh, in this uh, in the space between these two functions so just treat everything as just as a function and that's it. So suppose we want to uh, display an image as soon as uh, we run the GUI. So we will uh, simply write I am show. Then we have a file on uh, desktop by the name of test. Uh, we will type it test.jpg and save it. And then we will simply run it. So uh, test figure is being displayed on the complete GUI layout. But uh, suppose our application demands that this, fi uh, this picture should come at a particular uh, place or at uh, some particular corner. So for making it, uh, we need to do some changes in the front panel design. So in the front panel, we will start from this axis. So for this axis is uh, used as a plot command and generally uh, used uh, in the GUI for displaying any graphs, any figures, or any images. Whenever we will double click on this uh, axis, then its property is uh, property open. So there are various uh, uh, name of the properties which uh, identifies how this uh, how this uh, axis will be look like uh, when this GUI will run. Uh, we will talk all this about later in the upcoming videos but for timing we will talk about only the tag right now this tag is used here like 
access one so this tag is uh, generally used to identify each and every object uh, whatever object we are creating on the GUI so we'll save it and then we will go to the backend programming and again we will run the command actually what happens whenever this uh, uh, whenever we run the GUI so as we discussed this opening function ex executes and then it executes this command I am sure test.jpg because we are not specifying on which uh, uh, axis or on which plot it will be show the image by default it uh, by default it show the whatever content is there to the first plot whatever uh, is available uh, on the uh, on the GUI front panel so uh, some uh, uh, we will discuss how to make it separate if we have two or three axes but for the time being this is quite enough so we will run our program and as soon as we click on the button run now this image in the last run it was coming in the whole figure now it is coming only at certain corner of the GUI similarly we can resize the size of this axis to any extent and just save it and then we will again run so now it will display in the much bigger picture we can also uh, change the location of this axis to anywhere and then simply run and the image will be <coughs> displayed there only so this was the introductory uh, video uh, for making you familiar uh, how does uh, how the GUI works in uh, in MATLAB or how can we create a graphical user interface programming uh, in MATLAB to make uh, interesting softwares so that's it for this video thank you